Hey guys, Crewman here, and I had a plan for today's video, and yet again, another news story that's bad for gamers hijacked it. Um, basically, I saw this article, uh, I'm filming this on Sunday, December 29th, this will air Monday, December 30th. Uh, I saw this article earlier this week, uh, I think it was like Friday I saw it. Um, I took, basically I took a week off because I just needed to mentally recharge. Anyway, long story short, uh, modders are slapping 32 gigs of VRAM on NVIDIA's RTX 5080 GPU, but that is not good for gamers. And Tom's Hardware hit that on the head, and I'm going to talk about that in today's video. Uh, no sponsor for today, but if you like my opinion on anything newsworthy, and if you follow my buy guides, sell guides, and testing guides, and everything else on my channel, please feel free to like and subscribe. And if you purchase anything with my links, I will get a small commission and all of the money goes back into the channel. So anyway, uh, I knew that something like this was true as far as the 4090s, the 5090s, and uh, I mean, hell, it's even true for the 3080. I just did a video on the RTX 3080 20 gig, which um, you can go check out and it, they work. So I, I have a few PC repair guys, like GP repair guys that I trust, and I went and I messaged them and they both confirmed that this is possible. Uh, they both had differing opinions on how it's possible, but they definitely said it could be done, and that's that's not good. I already said the 5080 is a rare breed right now. You can't get it for anywhere less than $1,300, $1,400 right now, and I said that gamers, uh, that was your best um, Halo SKU experience, as you basically overclock them into a 4090, and I said that the prices would go up, especially if the AI guys were interested in these things for their 16 gigs of VRAM, because I've heard rumblings that they work well on AI, and now that you could put 32 gigs on them, which basically will give you a 32 gig 4090, uh, we're, we're in serious trouble, guys. And this is really bad news, because uh, they're already like $1,400. And here's the crazy thing, right? With the 4090 at about 2200 right now, which is ish where it's at the 5090 is cracking 31 32 right now the 50 80 32 gig right i mean so I, I i was trying to price this thing out right if you're buying these things for 1300 dollars and then you're slapping vram on them you're looking at 22 to 2300 50 80 32 gigs but like if you're looking at those at about twenty-two to twenty-three hundred, and the fifty nineties a thousand dollars more, I think this makes sense. Which means that you're going to see like fifteen to seventeen hundred dollar their fifty eighties. Which means high-end Nvidia GPUs are going to disappear from the market. So if you want a Halo SKU GPU like the fifty eighty, you better buy it now. I, I don't like to scream buy it now, but like if you could get a fifty eighty for thirteen hundred dollars. I think it's a good buy right now. I can't believe I'm saying that. You could have gotten these for $900 three months ago. I, I bought one for $900, an, NM an MSI Inspire. <sighs> More bad news. Um, I'm not going to go too much longer on this one, but essentially this is not good. Uh, this is really bad. <laughs> now, I, I actually think that if you could get one of these for gaming... I don't even think it would make sense, funny enough, because, like, at that point, just buy a 4090 for, like, $2,000. I would love to try one of these. I'd love to get my hands on one, and I'd love to see if it performs better than a 4090 as far as gaming goes, but I don't... I don't know. Um, I... I don't know. I mean, it's early, so I think it'll take time for this to catch on, but once these things are made in bulk, like the 5090s and the 4090s are... Uh, I know Steve at Gamers Next did a great video on the 4090 when that happened, and when I saw his video, I had known about those for about six months, and they're already doing it with the 5090s at 96 gig, so I don't know, I think you got like a month or two to get a 5080 before they're going to be gone. <laughs> the news just keeps getting better and better, guys. Let me know what you think in the comments down below. Would you pay $1,400 for a 5080? I think it's a decent price right now. I mean, say what you want, guys, but if you want high-end gaming, then it doesn't get much better than 5080. 
<sighs> All right, guys, that's it for this one. Thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe. And uh, yeah, not the video I wanted to do, but I think you guys need to be aware of it. Peace out.